what's going on guys um, so we're working on this uh, 8N Ford again did develop a little bit of a leak behind this um, it was, I think it's leaking out right here so just thought I would show you guys how to take this off um, and inspect it and all that stuff so um, basically you're gonna have this fuel line you're gonna take this out just unscrew it um, that goes over to your carburetor just so you know goes back over and back around and then you're gonna have this uh, square square nut I guess um, and then you can just basically unscrew it from there and from what I understand these have three fuel filters in there one there's a screen that is inside the gas tank which I'll show you it's gonna be this All right. and then there should be another screen inside here and then you have your bowl that is basically a, a filter as well so we'll go take this over to the bench and um, see if we can clean this up and keep it from leaking um, you can actually buy these for like 25 bucks but again we're kind of doing this on the cheap just to see and I'll get right back with you and before we go to in-depth um, since we're outside we're gonna go ahead and knock off some of this dirt and you can see it's I don't know if this has been leaking for a while and there's dirt build up and all that but Yeah, we'll, we'll clean this off. Um, I see that I'm scratching it. I'm looking through the camera, so um, I want to be a little bit more careful than that. And I'll, I'll finish knocking off uh, the rest of all this stuff when we get in there with to the bench. This is how you change out the... Obviously, you don't have to remove this in order to change out. Glass fuel filter, all you do. I'd hit this with a little bit of WD-40 or penetrating oil of your choice. Uh, let that sit a while you may need to get a wire brush or whatever but basically you're just going to loosen this up okay this drops down and comes out and then you can dump out your dirty fuel you can see that there is some water in there see? you can see that better or not kind of weird all right let me go dump this up all right um and just a tip if you guys have a bunch of uh rust stain down in here or on the outside um you can use like muriatic acid or um like a pool acid um to put in there to eat that stuff away and it will it will work wonders um makes this nice and clear again so well that's my tip look in here you can kind of see what you build up and grom and jump so I'm going to take this well first we're going to take this off it's just a rubber gasket for that glass filter um, but I think I'm going to take this to the outside parts washer so we can do about cleaning this up um, as well as cleaning up the rest of the outside and all that so let's go do that all right so this is my parts washer um, it's got a pump there you so uh, don't feel like you guys have to have something like this in order to clean parts you can use just a tub fill that up with gasoline like if, if you're working on a carburetor fill it up with clean glass gasoline Put you some gloves on that's not going to be affected by gasoline um, and a little brush and scrub away that's that's the main thing that you need just to get the big chunks off and all that but again i mean if you if you have it obviously you're going to use it you're just going to get the big chunks so it'll fall into i don't want it into my my solution and normally I'd still not do this over here. I'd do it away from this, but um, watch out. See the sacrifices I make for you. 
This is just kind of like a spring clip so you can spread it apart carefully and that pulls off. So I got most of the big chunks of it off. So let's go ahead and finish cleaning it up. We'll just get this little bristle brush. Go in here and see what we can clean up. So there's a passageway this way. I'm not sure if that's clean. You can see it's coming through there. Uh, passageway this way. And you can see it coming up through there. Reverse to coming out through there. Now make sure that's all clean. So we got that pretty clean. Um, let's go ahead and take it back in and finish cleaning it up some more. All right, so we're just going to set this to the side. Uh, do have a flat head here and see if we can take that off. And I know everybody's probably cringing that I'm using these, but it's all right. As long as it don't slip, should be good to go. Um, taking this off is probably not necessary. We're just gonna, ooh, yeah. I think that used to be a washer. take some carburetor cleaner outside and do this just spread around see how clean I can get it hey right, so this little section that I'm showing you now got um, deleted somehow or didn't record or I don't know what happened but anyways um, I wanted to go over the importance of of having sets of o-rings um, like here you can see I got different styles I got this from tractor supply um, these are just some other different types of o-rings the green ones are typically for AC um, but we got metric you got your standard and if you open this up I cannot tell you how much time this has saved me just having this little o-ring set that I can run over and and grab an o-ring or so and uh, and make something work or fix again uh, you know I did the I don't know if you remember the air hose that we fixed with the o-ring set but anyways these are these save so much time and you know sometimes you go and you buy an, an o-ring that's dollar thirty or something like that and then here you had just a whole bunch of different o-rings that you got um, and again, these are not going to fit fit everything, uh, but the majority of stuff this will be able to do for you. So I recommend uh, getting you a set if you do any kind of mechanical uh, repairs or anything like that. You can get a set of SAE and a metric set. But I'll put a link in the description below. So we'll pick this back up where I um, already picked out the correct O-ring. Um, you want an o-ring that's going to fit on there that's going to be snug um, you, it, it wants to be snug on that shaft but not too snug and then again you don't want one that's too loose because then it's not going to seal um, and I think I wound up using this one which is a 6x2 I think I think that's what that says and that seemed to give it a really good seal and fit. So again, you don't want you don't want one that's too big that will not fit down inside that sediment bowl. Um, but then again, you don't want one that's too small that's going to slip over those um, those threads. So all right, we'll pick it back up from there. You see that this O-ring is bigger than these threads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of um, have this little deal of silicone grease almost think that it's just Vaseline <laughs> but it's not supposed to break down or whatever like rubber parts or whatever so uh, let me go ahead and take this one back off 
and we're gonna coat this. I'm also gonna put a little bit on the shaft. I don't know if this is gonna help or not. I don't see how it couldn't. Then we're just gonna coat this real good. You can see my hands are dried out from using that, so silicone grease mop might work out good for that too. I'm gonna go ahead and put some go ahead and put some thread sealer on this uh, before we put that in there. I'm just using some Teflon tape. I don't know if this is good for gasoline or not, but technically uh, gasoline should never touch or gasoline should not touch these threads. If they do, um, again, this is just an extra preventive maintenance. All right, so get that done. And see down, I don't know if you can see down in there or not. And this was on pretty tight. I, I wonder if the previous owner knew that this was leaking and that's why he tightened it down as much as he did. I don't know, but that's kind of my thinking. He was kind of trying to tighten this down so it wouldn't leak anymore. We don't have hardly any any movement at all in there, so that's good. All right, so I got that all buttoned up. This screen is split right here. Yeah, it looks like it's split, but it's not. That's just where this overlaps and is sealed somehow or another. Uh, but you do want to look and see if there's any big holes in here or anything like that, because this is sitting, so this is inside your gas tank. And so fuel is going to come through here, out here, and it's going to fill this up. It's going to fill your bowl up. And then it's going to basically overflow. It's going to overflow until out here. And so all the particles come down, they're going to settle here and then flow up and out. Um, also another thing is that water is heavier than fuel, so water is going to be, uh, this is kind of a water separator as well. Um, so the water will be down here and fuel will be up here. So whenever this drains out, um, you have fresh fuel and not water. So, all right, um, I think that's about it. I didn't need to take this off. I'm gonna go ahead and put that uh, screw back on there as well as this and the, uh, and the gasket that goes on here. Then we'll install this back on the tractor. Okay, so then we'll stick that up in there. I'll put that on what I would call tight. I wouldn't say pretty tight or fairly tight. I'd just say tight. Um, and then this, so from this all the way closed, where it doesn't turn anymore. So if you turn it two full turns, that is fully open. So you don't need to keep spinning it and spinning it and spinning it. Um, just two full turns, and that it, and it it actually says it on this dial so all the way closed and then two turns out is fully open all right let's go ahead and put this line on and these are tapered they're like pipe thread line so you don't necessarily need you don't need thread locker or anything like that So that's in there. We'll go just a little bit tighter. That should be tight enough. And so that should be good to go. Um, I am out of fuel. Um, I put all the fuel that I had in there and it pretty much all leaked out. But um, I'll go ahead and put fuel in it once we get this going. I'll go ahead and get the video ready to upload. If I put fuel in here, if it doesn't work at all, you won't even see this video. <laughs> um, 
if there's some tweaking that I needed to do, like that O-ring, maybe it needed to be on the other side, um, and I had to fix it that way, um, I'll, I'll put it in this area somewhere. Um, if this works, then, well, you won't see any annotation. So, hence, if you don't see an annotation, then this worked. If you see an annotation, um, maybe I need to put that on the other side. Maybe I needed to spin this around one more time. Um, something like that. I'll put that up here. Um, if it didn't work at all, well, you won't see this. So, um, here in the next oh, day or so, I need to get some gas. Uh, probably today. <laughs> maybe tomorrow. I'll get some gas, fill it up, see if it leaks, and go from there. So, I hope this helps somebody out. So, how to fix your fuel sediment bowl assembly whatever you want to call it I don't know exactly what um, actually and at the beginning of this video I said that there was three filters so that first filter was that screen that's on this round cylinder looking thing um, that's on top there's actually supposed to be another uh, screen on top of this and it looks like this um, so it just fits in the top of that area so you have that that square looking piece and then this is going to be where the uh, the glass bowl filter is. So there's that. Like you can get the whole assembly for twelve dollars and eighteen cents. But again, I was able to fix this for just a few cents or however much that O-ring cost. Um, and a little bit of time and effort, elbow grease. So all right. So if you think this is going to help you out, please let me know. That's the reason why I do these videos. Um, if you got any questions feel free to ask I'll do my best to answer them if you've done this before if I did it wrong let me know and comment down below um, this is like old-school technology but dang dude it works man like all the fuel all the fuel sediment one is gonna get caught in that upper screen so it's not even gonna get down but if it does get down in here like water um, super easy just loosen this up dump out the bowl put it back in there good to go look down in the description below um, I'll put I'll put my Amazon affiliate link down there it does help out the channel a little bit I really don't push the Amazon affiliate link that hard um, but it does help out the channel and um, it it helps make these easier for me to do because um, again I know how to do all this stuff I'm doing it for y'all hope I'm hoping it will help somebody out or at least give you an idea of what you're stepping into if you wanted to take on this task or any of the other videos that i have if you got any other tasks in there y'all be safe we'll see you later thanks for watching see ya